This is the boat that we just arrived with. And this is the normal ferry that you take. So this ferry is 30 baht. Our ride was 150 baht per person, but very fast, but also very bumpy. Hi, good morning. I'm here on Sukhumvit Road and I'm on my way to the Sofitel to pick up a rental car because we are going to Kolan today and uh, I will show you exactly how to get there. We are going to do it by car. We are on our way to Patia, which should be around a two hours drive. The main entrance of the Sofitel is closed, but in the Sofitel you have the Europe car car rental. So uh, let's go and pick up the car. So on our way to Kolan, we just make a quick stop here in Patia. There is a nice restaurant here on the beach. It's called the Sea Terrace and we just had a lunch here. And we just need to drive 15 more minutes to get to the ferry pier. Kolan is over there, so you can actually see it in front of the coast. The last time that I was in Patia, the beach wasn't as broad and they basically pumped up sand in here to make it look better and they did a pretty good job it's a nice long beach now so that's good to see anyway let's uh, get to Kolan we parked the car here in the garage and uh, this is gonna be 250 baht per day and this is going automatic and I uh, I think it's cool So we just parked the car here in the automatic parking and uh, this is the ferry pier. So the speed boats they go whenever you want to go and it's 150 baht per person. So uh, that's actually a very good option in case you don't catch the normal ferry. And there are six or seven ferries per day. Let me uh, go and have a quick look. The ferry goes at 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3.30, 5 o'clock and 6.30. So we are right on time now to take the regular boat at 2 o'clock. But I decided to go with the speed boat. So this is the boat that we just arrived with. In the far, far distance you can see Patia, but it's a bit uh, hazy, you cannot see it perfectly. And this is the normal ferry that you take. So this ferry is 30 baht. Our ride was 150 baht per person, but very fast, but also very bumpy. It's been about 12 years since we've been here. So uh, it's interesting to see how much it changed and we're gonna be here for two days for the weekend and I'm pretty sure we're gonna enjoy it. We just arrived here at the Naban Pier and our hotel is in this area. There are plenty of ways 
to get transport, you have the local motorcycle taxis that can bring you to your hotel or you have the songtels here. The island is very popular for day trips from Batia and uh, many people just come early morning. The boat is only 30 baht. If you take the big ferry, it takes 45 minutes. And uh, as you can see, the village is busy. There are a couple of coffee shops where you can refresh yourself and then you can rent a motorcycle and just go around. If I would be living in Pati, I would probably go here a couple times per year. The hotel where we're staying arranged the pickup. We are staying at the Riviera. Sawadikap. Kap. So this is the hotel where we're staying. This is called the Riviera. And we're gonna be staying here for two nights. And as we are here anyway, I'm gonna show you how the rooms look. So let's go and check it inside. Nice and spacious and clean. That's the most important. So show you the bathroom. Nice bathtub, kind of jacuzzi style. Yeah, so we booked this directly with the hotel. And if you book it directly with the hotel, it also comes with a free motorcycle. There's an extra bed in case you are here with three people. That's a possibility. And a nice balcony. It's a bit away from the city center, but obviously the free motorcycle completely compensates that. But it's the next day, early morning, and it looks like we're gonna be lucky today. Yesterday we uh, had a very cloudy day. Today, the sun is shining. So the trip was actually quite easy. It took us about two hours to get from Bangkok to the pier. And then it was another 15 minutes with the speedboat. And of course, if you take the big boat, it's 45 minutes. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's uh, quite easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this update regarding traveling from Bangkok to Kolan. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video.